The various ways in which people communicate with one another all uh, represent various kinds of network interaction. And the interesting question is what use could be made of these network interactions? How might value be extracted from these network interactions? When people call for emergency medical services, the location of these calls and the time at which they called is recorded, which means you can pre-position ambulances closer to where the demand for service is likely going to arise, thereby improving service levels in terms of response time. When people are infected with communicable diseases, contact tracing is a technique widely used to determine who they've infected. Using social network data and location from mobile devices, one can conduct proximity analysis to determine who was proximate to whom and provide computer-based support for contact tracing. So what this technology is doing is it's making visible what is previously invisible. The positive side of this it lends itself to analysis, it lends itself to the creation of systems and tools that are beneficial. However, it also has a downside. People perhaps on account of information being captured are not being as open as they might have been when it wasn't being captured. And two, there is a potential issue with privacy. So there is this need to manage the trade-off between making use of these network data while at the same time protecting individually identifiable data. The reason why this is truly exciting is because it offers us a source of data to really work on a set of problems which have scale and a transformative impact on society and on business. And that's really why I'm, I'm excited about it.